It was a meeting that came with a 99,000 Sing dollar price tag, but internal reviews found it could have cost much less. The Expel Executive Committee also did not follow a WARES constitution, but the new Exco says all that is water under the bridge now. As we are able to recover some of the money anyway, the, don the, the, the generosity of the donors, so it doesn't make any. It doesn't seem. It doesn't. We don't see a need to pursue this any further. But more importantly, we really want to be free of this so that we can carry on with our work. AWARE's new work includes a two-year research on issues facing Singapore women in work, health and family matters, and a sexual harassment package for companies after a survey last year found more than half of respondents experienced harassment at work. But AWARE will set aside its sexuality education courses for students for now and await the Education Ministry's review. From our talks with younger girls, it really does seem right now that many young girls and boys just do not practice safe sex. I think I can say that as a matter of fact. So hopefully, you know, um, with the ministry's involvement, comprehensive sexuality education will be much, much stronger. And to prevent history repeating itself, AWARE has submitted to the authorities proposed constitutional changes which include giving the board the power to expel members who act against the association's interests. And the association says it has slightly over $100,000 to fund its daily operations. That amount is expected to last until the end of this year. As for funding for projects like its helpline for women in need, AWARE says it has just enough to last them till March next year. AWARE plans to raise half of their annual expenses, $200,000 by the end of this year.